Our bodies are more like computers than you may realize. Computers and other electronic devices like cell phones function by following a set of instructions called code. Computer engineers write code to tell devices exactly what to do and how to respond and behave. Our bodies follow a set of code as well. In living things, that code is called DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It was first observed by Swiss biologist Friedrich Miescher in 1869. Our bodies are full of long, thin DNA molecules that tell our cells what to do. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick discovered that a DNA molecule is shaped like a double helix. Imagine a tall ladder, like one you would use to climb up to the roof of a building, but twisted into a spiral. If you could unravel all of the DNA molecules in your body and lay them end to end, it would reach the sun and back several times. DNA molecules are made of nucleotides that stretch between a spiraling backbone like the rungs on a ladder. There are four different types of nucleotides, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. These nucleotides are represented by their first letters, A, T, C, and G. A person's DNA code can be written out using different combinations of these letters. There are only four letters, but there are billions of possible code combinations. A long strand of these coded instructions is called a gene. Genes tell cells how to make proteins. These proteins allow the cells to function, grow, and survive. A long chain of DNA and proteins is called a chromosome. Chromosomes are found at the center of each cell in the nucleus. Each human has 23 different pairs of chromosomes. Our chromosomes are inherited from our parents. They determine genetic traits, such as hair color, eye color, height, and even whether you are a boy or a girl. DNA is what makes us who we are. Although there are billions of different DNA code combinations, humans share 99.9% .9 of their DNA with all other humans on Earth. We are only different from one another by 0.1%. But that is enough to make us all one of a kind. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.